Patterns for Pirates, and I'm going to talk a little bit about the fierce bra and the small bust adjustment piece, as well as the full bust adjustment piece that I included in this pattern. First, let's talk about if you're going to need to use either the small bust adjustment or full bust adjustment piece. You're going to look at two main measurements to decide this. You're going to use your over bust, which is taking around the back and over your bust as your main size decider. I have a small over bust, so I would print the small. Now my full bust measurement is a medium, so I would need the full bust adjustment piece to get one size larger than my over bust. If I had the full bust of a small, I would just use a straight small. If I had the over bust of a small and my full bust was extra small, I would still use the small, but I would use the small bust adjustment piece. My under bust happens to be a small as well, so I use a small under bust elastic. Whichever um, size your under bust fits in, that's the size elastic you're going to want to grab. Now, if you are over bust and your bust is more than one size different, this small bust adjustment and full bust adjustment piece isn't going to get you more than one size. So if you have a small over bust and a large full bust, which is a medium large, two size differences, you're still going to have to adjust your pieces to get that big of a full bust adjustment. This adjustment only adjusts one size up for the full and one size down for the small. Need help measuring? I have a great blog on PatternsForPirates.com called Measure Yourself with tons of pictures and explanations exactly how to measure that over bust, full bust, and under bust so you can get the right size and a great fit. Let's look at the pieces and see how they work. All right, here I am with all my pieces. <clears throat> I printed a couple of sizes on the front just so I can help explain what the full bust and small bust pieces are going to do for you. Other than that, I printed a small because that is what my over bust and my under bust is. I'm going to walk you through what pieces you would need for each thing. So if you were a straight size, you would just need a front a front lining, you would need your under bust elastic, which is just a measurement, we just do a piece. It's also in the cut chart if you don't want to print a piece and stick it together. You can just look at the cut chart. You need your front neckline strap and you need your outside strap. Now you will just have the normal one if you are straight size. I grabbed the full bust adjustment piece because that's what I need personally. And then you need a back piece as well. So now let's talk about if you are a full bust, what you're gonna need. You're gonna still need um, your lining piece, your under bust, your front neckline, the special pieces you're going to need is your front full bust adjustment, your outside strap full bust adjustment, and then you will also need the back full bust adjustment. The full bust adds a tiny bit of length to your side seam, so that's why we have a different back piece for the full bust adjustment. So again, for the full bust, you're going to need your full bust front, your full bust back, Full bust outside strap are the three special pieces you need, and then you will need the regular inside strap, regular under bust, and regular lining. And really, all we'll, all we're going to do with this lining is copy this curve if you want the removable cut line. For a small bust, what you're going to need is your front small bust piece. You're going to use the regular back, regular under bust, regular neckline, and then you will have an outside strap that says small bust adjustment. 
So the only special pieces you need for a small bust are the main front and your outside strap. The reason we have different outside straps is because the outside strap goes along this arm side, and so the small bust and the full bust change that me measurement ever so slightly. Okay, I'm going to cut out my full bust adjustment and I'm going to lay it on my regular front and we're just gonna go over what it's going to do to the pieces for you to give you some extra room in your bust. Again, I am a small over bust with a medium full bust and a small under bust. So I would just print up the small completely. Since my only measurement outside is my full bust, all I need is the size small and I would use the full bust adjustment piece. So you're gonna align it at the top pickup, the fold line. Okay, the pickup, neckline, and fold line should all match. I'm gonna throw just a pattern weight on there to hold it in place for me. Um, where you'll see it differs from the small is it gives you a lot more width in the bust area. It also gives you more length in the bust area than the small. So it's giving me the medium length. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm being cut off a little bit, I think. It's giving me the medium length instead of here's the small. So it's giving me more bust length. It's giving me more bust width, but I still have a small under bust width and a small neckline and shoulder width. The back piece, again, all it does is you get the medium length right here for your bust. And so the back piece needs that little tiny extra length right there. All right, and we can do the small bust now. I would need the small bust adjustment if my over bust was a small and my full bust was an extra small. So again, you line it at the top pickup and the fold line. And you can see it gives me less length. So here's my regular size small length. It gives me a little less length, about the length of a extra small, and less bust room about the width of an extra small. So it gives me one size down, bust width and length, keeping with the same neckline and shoulder width as the small and the same under bust as a small. I did not remove any length for the small bust adjustment, so that's why you can just use the regular back. This this small bust and full bust only go up and down one size, but hopefully seeing this little explanation will help if you need to go up or down more than one size. You want to keep the neckline and shoulders the same, and then you really want to give yourself both the width and the length for whatever full bust you have. Friends, I hope that helped. I'm excited to give a few more um, sizes with the full bust and small bust adjustment. Hopefully that means a lot more of you guys can fit into one size without having to adjust it. And if you do still have to adjust it, maybe you're two sizes different from your, your over bust to your full bust, I think these pieces might help explain it a little bit better.
And even maybe you can take this and apply this to a swimsuit or other bra pattern. I hope it helps. Um, adjusting something like a bra to fit perfectly is so glorious. I know those of us who need a small bust or a full bust adjustment can't just go to a store and pick up um, a little bralette. I have just one difference in my overbust and full bust. But of course, um, patterns for pirates grade on a very curvy figure and most ready to wear does not. So if I was to look at a size chart of a ready to, of most ready to wear, I would have a much bigger difference between my overbust and my full bust than they draft for. So I definitely cannot go pick up a bralette from the store that will fit my neckline and shoulders and underbust and have enough room for my full bust. Um, and I, I'm not that busty. So I feel you that, um, have, you know, still two, three sizes difference. I really hope this helps. Um, grab some cotton spandex. It is super easy to work with and you can get it inexpensive. You can get it, um, very easily. Usually it's great to make your toil or muslin or mock-up, whatever you want to call it for the fierce bra, make up a mock-up. Get your fit perfect, and you will love having a sports bra or a lounge bra that fits you and feels nice, and the underbust is snug, and you have enough room for your bust, and the straps aren't digging into you. I'm excited for everybody to sew one up and share it with us. Have fun making your fierce bras. <laughs>